All right, we're gonna start out with a video here. Hello, everyone. What is going on? Today, I wanted to talk a little bit about subclasses because on Tuesday I did talk about the weapons. Uh, that was the day the patch came out, and honestly, the you know what we know hasn't changed. Um, I'll run over it very quickly just in case you guys may have missed it. Auto rifles uh, such as Shuros Regime or you know anything with focus fire on it, or you know the lower rate of fire auto rifles like Shuros. Very, very solid, very good weapons. Even the Kvostov has a place now. Um, loving it a lot. Uh, they're not as good as hand cannons, for sure. If you have a uh, rifled rangefinder Pally or a uh, uh, rifled AS Luna, those are definitely the best, most preferred weapons in the game now with the accuracy buff. Uh, I do do uh, really like that, actually. I uh, really like it a lot, but definitely Suros is viable, as well as the lower rate of fire uh, pulse rifles, Parthian Shot, Messenger, uh, Spare Change, all those very, very good. Red Death, uh, Hopscotch, Near Winds Mercy, still not that great because they did not get touched. Um, beyond that, um, the highest rate of fire pulse rifles, Grass from Malak, and Clever Dragon, uh, and the Waltz, are not a, they're not as good because of they got a rate of fire nerf, which I don't think was warranted. I would have preferred just the Flinch and High Caliber nerf. And um, I would say the best pulse rifles in the game right now are Bad Juju types, so Hawksaw, PDX, um, Blind Perdition. Those are your best pulse rifles, but hand cannons are definitely the best weapons in the game right now, primary-wise. Uh, but you can use anything, realistically. Honestly, scout rifles are good even, too. Um, so anything is viable, but hand cannons are definitely going to be used at the higher level. Um... So yeah, that's just kind of a recap. I mean, obviously, uh, special ammo was changed a lot. We don't have as much special in the Crucible anymore. And that has also inadvertently changed some things uh, in terms of subclasses. Um, Sunsinger. Sunsinger has come back into the meta because uh, people love to use sticky grenades because they can't run at you with a shotgun to get a one-shot kill. So instead, they throw a sticky grenade that can track you around corners to get a one-shot kill because people gravitate towards the cheesiest and easiest thing in the game at all times. So, watch out for sticky nades. Uh, sticky nades are a plague in the Crucible at the moment, and I hope they get changed soon, like we've been asking for, for over, you know, since Destiny has been launched, because sticky grenades have always been this bad. Um, so obviously, Blade Dancer, Flux Grenades actually got buffed in the patch. Uh, Sunsinger can spec for two sticky grenades, Sunbreaker has sticky grenades of their own, as well as, you know, that you can spec with Armamentarium for two sticky grenades. Uh, Defender Titan has magnetic grenades, which are really, really good, and you can also spec for two sticky grenades with Armamentarium. So those classes have definitely uh, made a resurgence in PvP simply because of how ridiculous sticky grenades are. So that's cool. Uh, Trials is going to be very interesting because, honestly, Sunsinger was only bad because of special ammo. Um... If a team does not have special ammo, they don't have snipers, they don't have shotguns, Sunsingers are actually very, very difficult to counter. Um, so Sunsinger is also coming back into the meta because of that reason as well. You know, No special ammo makes this class directly stronger, which is interesting. Um, same with Golden Gun. Golden Gun is also stronger because of the, of the special ammo reduction. My dog's kind of uh, coming over by me. Hey, buddy. Um... But yeah, uh, Stormcaller, you know, Stormcaller and Blade Dancer, you would think, are also stronger because of the special ammo reduction. I would actually say that they're weaker. Uh, lots of people, you know, because th these these classes you actually have to get close with your super, right? Um, so uh, people have been learning to just team shot with hand cannons, and honestly, you can take down a Blade Dancer very very easily, Stormcaller fairly easily. Uh, the melee, Stormcaller melee, they said they nerfed it can't tell a difference. It, it still maps you. However, since there's less shotgun ammo in the Crucible, it doesn't really matter. So, uh, you know, they can map you with their melee all you want. As long as you have a hand cannon, you you will usually counter them if they don't have shotgun ammo to ape you with. So, that's nice. Um, but I still think it needs to be nerfed uh, a little bit more. You know, Stormcaller Super wasn't directly nerfed, but all, like I said, you can team shot it with a hand cannon fairly easily, or any weapon, really. I mean, just team shotting with primaries is actually pretty strong now. Um... I will say, I will say that with grenades as strong as they are in the Crucible right now, um, I think, I think the special ammo changes is a mistake without also 
reducing ability spam. Um, I think the best approach will be to first reduce the cooldowns of grenades in the Crucible. I think that's definitely the best way to go about it, and I hope they definitely do that. 25 seconds for a grenade is too, is just, it's too fast. It, there's too many grenades in Crucible right now, especially with stickies. Uh, but just grenades in general, lightning grenades, uh, you know, skip grenades, even axions to an extent, uh, wombo combos on Night Stalker, you know, what, whatever it might be, uh, grenades, there's just too many of them. Uh, I also think grenades powers, you know, I, I said in my abilities video, grenade grenade power as a whole needs to be reduced a little bit in some areas, you know, lightning grenades, cone needs to be reduced in my opinion a little bit, same with um, void, the uh, spike grenade, excuse me as well as strip mine maybe to an extent. Uh, skip grenade, you know, it's kind of annoying. Flux grenade, obviously all those all these things need to be changed in my opinion, uh, but you should start with reducing or in increasing the cooldown time for grenades. That would be a good start. Because uh, right now with no special ammo, people just throw grenades. And that's just the way it is. Um, so I think that if you do not reduce the power of grenades, you need to re you need to change special ammo a little bit more. You need to make it so you only lose half your special ammo on death, say, or something like that, instead of all of it, because otherwise it's just a grenade fest, which it already was a grenade fest. It's just a grenade fest even more now, and people just sit in the corners waiting for a grenade to come up every 25 seconds. So uh, let's not have that. Um, Sidearms, uh, you know, if we're going to keep the special ammo changed, they need to be changed a little bit, in my opinion. Um, they keep all their ammo through death, not just... Not just one magazine in a little bit, like it used to be before. All the ammo that you stack up with a sidearm, you keep it through death until you use it. Um, so sidearms have definitely become very, very annoying because they still kill faster than primaries. Even hand cannons sometimes, especially at close range. Uh, sidearms can kill faster. So they've become pretty annoying. Uh, I would like to see their ammo reduced or changed a little bit. Uh, how, they, how they keep it with this new special ammo change would be nice. Like I said, I, I like this special ammo change overall. But there are neat, there do need to be some small tweaks uh, to other things in the game in order to make it completely good. You know what I'm saying? All right. Uh, two last things: uh, Quick Draw was nerfed on Aphidian Aspects as well as Blade Dancer. Blade Dancer didn't need that nerf, plain and simple. Aphidian Aspects did. I would have much preferred Aphidian Aspects to be nerfed directly because it is a ridiculous exotic armor piece for the Warlock. Um, is it still worth using, however? Uh, I would say it's definitely completely in line now with things like the RAM, Void Fang Vestments, even Transversive Steps. Transversive Steps um, for the Warlock, those are those are exotic boots. I should actually go pick those up right now, to be honest. Transversive Steps make it so that when you pick up any type of ammo, it, auto, it automatically reloads the weapon matching that ammo. So, in Crucible now, if you die, spawn next to a special crate, your shotgun's not going to be loaded, right? You pick up that ammo, your shotgun's not going to be loaded. You, you have to reload your shotgun manually before you can actually use it. So in games like Rumble, where you might be getting instantly engaged, even while you're trying to pick up special ammo, having your shotgun instantly reloaded once you pick up that ammo can actually be super, super useful. Uh, so just be aware of that. You warlocks out there, you might want to try transversive steps, like I'm about to do, because uh, those are pretty fun, pretty fun boots to use. Um, like I said, quick draw, you know, whatever. I don't think it needed a nerf on Blade Dance. Ophidian Aspects did kind of need it, but uh, Blade Dance just sucks right now, honestly. Besides sticky grenades and skip grenades, Blade Dance is just terrible. Um, also, the health regen nerf. Don't let Bungie fool you. It was a nerf. They'll say it was a change that nerfed it in some ways and buffed it in others. No, it was a flat nerf. That regen, <laughs> that regen change sucks for Blade Dancers. It really does. It's awful. Um, it got accidentally applied to every health regen perk in the game. So that means Voidwalker's health regen. Uh, that means Striker Titan's infusion health regen. That means Sunbreaker's cauterize health regen. Um, that means Red Death's health regen perk. All of it. All of it only heals an instant chunk of your health instead of starting your healing over again. And like I said just now, that nerf... That, that change is terrible, and it really sucks for health regen. It, it, it's, it's bad. So um, make sure you guys are changing your spec for some of these classes. Uh, just just be aware of that. Like, I'm going to be using Surge for the time being because Lifesteal is trash now with that accidental change. 
Um, and then obviously embrace the void. Uh, killing enemies with Nova Bomber or any grenade triggers energy drain and restores your health. I will probably be switching to Vortex Mastery for the time being because that health regen is trash and uh, that's majority of, like health regen and the grenade regen is why I use Embrace the Void. So the grenade regen is still pretty good, but just don't expect uh, health regen to be very good. <laughs> um, so you might want to switch up your, con uh, your, your build on some of your classes. Um, Sunbreaker, you will not be wanting to use Cauterize anymore, even though that's literally what the class relied on. Like, Hammers without Cauterize is like Blade Dance without um, without Hungering Blade. It's bad. Uh, the super is just not good anymore. Honestly, Sunbreaker was built around Cauterize. Like, most people, like, that's why you would use it. Voidwalker, Lifesteal, and, you know, health, health Regen on Grenade and Nova Bomb Kills is why you would... It's why I would use Voidwalker personally. That's why I'm using it. Um, so definitely not as good now for the time being until they fix it. You're going to have to change what you're using. Uh, the last thing I do want to mention, though, like I said, you know, uh, Transfusion on, on Striker Titan was nerfed. So you cannot... Uh, the health regen on your melees or on your shoulder charges, if you spec for that, is not as good anymore. I would recommend using something else. Uh, for example, sh Aftershocks, I believe the perk is. Makes your lightning grenades last longer. I would recommend using that. However, however, uh, Striker Melee still does 156 damage when it's charged up. So you can shoot someone once in the body with a hand cannon and then melee them, and it will kill them. So you can use your hand cannon like a shotgun. You can still run at people and ape them with your Striker Melee because you just shoot them once with a hand cannon, and then your melee does the rest of the damage. Or you can use Shoulder Charge because shotgun ammo is a lot less common. No one just shotguns you straight while you're shoulder charging. Uh, shotguns were literally the counter to shoulder charge, and now that's not as common. So uh, shoulder charge is very, very good now. So I would highly recommend, honestly, Striker Titans probably might be the best subclass in the game. So uh, try Striker Titan. That's going to be it for uh, the video today, guys. Uh, I will be streaming most likely um, while you're watching this on twitch.tv backslash tvpbomber. If you have not made a Twitch account, I suggest you make one. Twitch is awesome. And I would love it if you followed me there. Uh, this video is actually being made at the beginning of one of my live streams because I like to do that now. It's just it's easy to export it, uh, to section it off of the stream after I end the stream and, and export it straight to YouTube. And also my laptop is acting up because my headphone jack broke and um, I had to buy a USB adapter and that is also fucking up my, uh, my recording microphone. So it's just way easier for me to uh, record videos at the beginning of streams and upload them straight to YouTube. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys uh, take my advice into account when you're choosing your subclass now. Uh, please don't be an asshole that abuses Sunsinger for double-sticky grenades. And I'll see you guys in my next video.